Oh yeah.
Getting that stream time ready. Let's have a stream today. It's that time where we do that little stream. Bring that music down lower and lower and lower. To the point that it's actually off. Let's see something here. All right, we it is a small stream right now, so we will we'll have some fun. We'll play some uh, some Zhao Ming, but it's important that every stream I ever do, as you well know, is brought to you by Sneak Energy. It's in the game. All right, that's maybe the wrong slogan, but I'm going to be sticking with it because we are playing more Zhao Ming here today. We're having some fun. Hopefully getting us to a point in this campaign where we can, um, but the two of us are very hyped. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> What's up, LaPhoenix? How you doing, man? Put the game up, make sure it's all good here. Okay, perfect. So we can put it right there. Okay. Well, since, since there's no here. Take my top off. I'm not gonna do that. Dashboard tool cloud bot. I need to have these timers be a little bit longer. Perfect, there we go. Okay. Back to dashboard. Perfect. We are good to go. Let's have some fun here today. No top of that, but the dent on my hype to that on, to be honest. Will I be making changes to the game? Uh, what did you mean, GRZ? Will I be doing the the thing to remove Absolutely, Eche. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for the $2 donation as well. Um, are you asking if I'm going to be manipulating the game files to shut off the, uh, the realms? No, I, I have yet to beat the game. So I'm going to keep it going because I want to beat it. Um, I, I pretty much kept it. I did not beat the game because I wanted to beat it with you bros. So we will be doing that today together forever. <laughs> that's actually kind of that's a very intimidating set of statements like we'll do it today forever forever uh still a Sean no we did not we were gonna lose so we stopped the demon campaign and said hey let's go ahead and do this Alt plus left click was a, and drag was a game changer. Thanks, absolutely, Buhando. Thank you very much for the five dollar donation, my man. Yeah, the alt, the alt drag, I do like subconsciously, even like without even thinking about it. I always use that command. Oh man, Mish, no, don't do it. Yeah, we were losing the um, the other campaign, so I was like, eh, let's just let's just go ahead and put that one on ice. We'll come back to it. Current balance is yin. Okay, so we could convert one building to a yang building. That'd fix our probs. <sighs> Do I have a technology that's going to be a yang? Though? Take a look. Yeah, so that'll that'll fix in a turn. Everything looking good, everything sounding good, guys. Just want to make sure, you know, like I said, with the new build, there are certain things that I'm just not sure of <laughs> looking properly. So I want to make sure that they are looking properly. Go ahead and build more of these income buildings. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, GRZ, for sure, man. I got what you're saying. The Lord okay, Mujug, whatever. Let me take a look at my income from my provinces. The Celestial River lands right 
here. That's making the most money. Broken Lands of Tian Li is not making much money at all. Wastelands of Jinshen making a good amount of money. Well, I can actually just squeeze her right there. Let's watch. She can watch that down from 1,200. Our Broken Lands of Tian Li will now jump up, and our Wastelands of Jinshen should go down. Let's see, so that went up to 1,300 and down to 1,400. That's a little bit more of a an even spread, I'd say. I'll take that. And then Ming Fan over here just took Wang Chang. And then next is the Terracotta Graveyard, which will put us in a good position. Unfortunately, it does have walls. It's going to be annoying as fuck. I worship only the Earth Father. Thank you for your subtle reminder of that. And unfortunately, this is really beat up. So we're about to get a rebellion here. And that is going to trip off the beginning of next turn. And they're going to take Pome, probably. So that will also be annoying. I'm going to take her too, and I'm going to move her over to uh, the Jade Wind Mountain, and I'll just pay the pay the troll toll. Actually, you know what? Let's not make a building here. Don't do this, because we're at a negative 600, and next turn will be positive, but let's just go ahead and do this. Man, Silashan, another huge donation. Thank you very much, man. Twenty dollar donation saying appreciate the streams. I quit smoking, and oddly enough, these long format interactions help with the cravings. Here's the money I would have spent on nicotine today to say thank you. Well, thank you very much, dude. That's absolutely awesome of you. Congratulations on on kicking the habit. Uh, my, uh, actually, a lot of my family died of lung cancer, so I don't mess around with like any time or any kind of like smoke like, I just won't do it I won't vape I won't hookah nothing and like there's certain things like okay I won't smoke weed and I know that smoking weed doesn't cause lung cancer but like dude I just don't even fuck with it and I grew up around like my grandpa always smoking like Marlboro Red which is for some reason like a like a nostalgic scent for me now <laughs> bro hear him it's okay man feel a little why do I feel a little off right now you want to know why I haven't felt Buhando I I take edibles like every Saturday <laughs> uh, and all right let's let's just get this out of the way I am not a medical expert I should not you do not need to listen to what I say I'm just some dude who fucking does a YouTube channel but edibles are kind of like a big thing because of the pandemic, because it was like, oh man, you know, existential dread, all this stress and everything like that. And I can't fuck with like high, high milligram THC edibles. They, like, I'll be sitting in the room like, the cops coming? Like, I don't know why the cops would come. This is per perfectly legal, legal to do here in, in Southern California. This is perfectly legal. So, um, I started doing like low milligram, like five milligram THC, 10 milligram CBD. And it's lovely. I do it every Saturday as like kind of like a nice like come down from the week, been working my ass off, like de stressor, like it's my brain just gets like a like a bubble bath. Like a nice little bubble bath. <laughs> uh we'll go ahead and fight these well yeah, no, we will fight these and wait a minute. Where did our Oh dude, attrition. I think we lost our uh, Astromancer to Attrition. Yeah, the Astromancer's dead. That's some shit. Yeah, you gotta go really low, Connor. Really low.
I slipped and fell on some ice and landed on my tailbone. Nothing broke, but I had extremely painful muscle spasms. I need a doctor for now have good meds. Dude, tailbone injuries are zero joke. Zero joke. I'm glad you're all right, but man, be careful, dude. You do not want to fuck around with your tailbone. We're on a hill there, so we're good right here. Did it and do. Did it and do. Yeah, Buhando, I agree with you on there, man. I agree with you on that, my bro. God, there's nothing in that group. This is not going to be good. Peasant spearman. <laughs> Border call, it's because you're criminals. <laughs> the dragons chose me. Border call, how? Border two call, how are you like in uh? What's it called, by the way? Uh, Last Kingdom. I'm on episode two. Oh, you had eaten animals. Oh, okay, I thought you were like just in generally afraid that the cops were there. Like Jesus Christ, what are they doing here? Gonna charge through the muck. I wanted you to do it. That's why I'm back here. Cavalry. Praise the dragons. Wind and fire. Okay, shut that off, you guys, please. Guard mode and focus fire these two bulls. Defenders of Ate. Stone and steel. It pleases the dragons. Will of the dragons. Never conquered. Defenders of Kate. Oh god damn it. Exactly what I didn't want to have happen. I was like, oh, I'll use these guys to intercept this. That didn't even work. Look at those gun... Iron Hell Gunners just ripped apart those guys. Last time I ride the shit out of them. Go ahead and poison... Halberds? Okay, 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 okay. I... Uh... So I was talking to my friend, she's like, oh, have you started watching Last Kingdom? I'm like, I'm afraid to watch it. Yes, I'm watching it, but I'm like deeply afraid of a character dying. Like, at this point, we're how many seasons in on Last Kingdom? Like, I've I've made a connection. Uh, I sent a message to Yepe, the guy who plays Heston. So, uh, for those who don't know, he came into my stream while we were playing um, Crusader Kings 3, because I was doing a Last Kingdom themed Crusader Kings 3. And he like made an appearance. He was like, "Yeah, that's me. I play. I play Heston." So I was starstruck. Um, but he was he was such a nice guy. So I'm I'm at least excited to see him because oh shit, no, we don't want fun. fun. No friendly fire here, sir. Commander of cities. Fight as one. In harmony. I've actually heard those books are really good. I heard the books are really, really good. Yeah, for sure. I definitely get behind that. See, like, I'm like, like, Legend and I are on the same page about um, mods. I don't really like using mods outside of cosmetic and, like, quality of life mods. Like, and, and, and it's funny that we both also have, like, the same mentality about it. Like, it feels like I'm somehow cheating the the, ult, the ultimate spirit of the game when I modify it. I mean, definitely there are times where I'm like, I want to see what this mod looks like. Let me put on, like, the Kiss of mod on Warhammer 2. But I ultimately always just play with, with just really cool graphics and, and overhaul mods in that regard. Alright, so... That's all done. That's all good. We're in balance, right? Yeah. No! One in yin. 
Harmony Yen. All right, all right, all right. Income from all buildings. 10%. Well, I'm going to put that on her. Alchemist of Shangyang. Ancillaries, where's your tax collector? Oh, good. And you... That guy should not have tax collector. Do I have another one? Good. The Iron Dragon's Disciple. Two. And let me take a look. Yeah, my guy's dead. That sucks. Make all Nurgle units vomit inducing. So we're gonna have to get. Alchemist of the all right, no problem, no problem. Appreciate that, board to colleagues. Um, but yeah, I do kind of want to do another playthrough. Uh, I'm going to do another playthrough on Crusader Kings, but I have not decided what faction we're gonna do. If anyone has any suggestions, I'm always open to them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pfft. Remember that time I did a video on that and explained it, and now I don't I don't ever use the feature? <laughs> Thank you very much for reminding me of that, JRZ. Our anti-heroes are just so damn good. Okay, so are we we're good, right? Yeah, we're just about there. Shang Yang worships me! I don't even, we don't even need to bother with attacking him. Oh, we can maybe pop over here. Me. Like if we go, if we march, we should be able to do both. We need an 18 plus warning for aesthetic mods. Do I play any older historical Total War games or has Warhammer pretty much blown the old historical titles out for you? No, actually, I play, um... We'll just do the Replenishment. Okay. I hope that didn't give her the chance to jump over to this, but it shouldn't. She's been in here for four turns, so I'll be able to beat her out. I mean, though, that the replenishment was barely worth it, I think. Let me reload that real quick. Um, just I just really want to be done with this fucking place. So I actually, I, I installed Rome not too long ago, and I was doing a Bosporus campaign, playing as the, um, the Black Sea Empires, because historically speaking, they're really, 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 really cool. They're some of like the last Greek holdover empires into like the later periods of antiquity, and it, it's kind of, it's unfortunately quite relevant now to the current state of uh, uh, Geopolitical affairs. Iron Dragon. Yeah, this isn't worth it. I'm just gonna pop into here. I get out of here as fast Heaven as we can. By rage. And we're into this region. And then next turn we can do that battle. Um, save us. But I really do enjoy that like geographic region. So I had fun playing that, but I have not played them on stream. If that's the question, I've, I've, I don't think I've ever really played any of the historical titles on stream except for uh, Thrones of Britannia. I've not played Mordheim. I own Mordheim. I've just never played it. So we want as much income production over here because of the building. that done because the, the building here that increases our income from all building price 25 percent uh, yeah income from all buildings we want to basically make these buildings and these buildings so maximize the income and then maximize the increase on all the income let me get that increased Um, so we are what? We are one yin ahead, so I need to get a yang. <laughs> it's just so frustrating. We'll 
We'll see how that goes. I've heard, though, that... Um, I don't like Attila. I've never really played Attila. I own it. Uh, CA gave it to me like about a year or two ago, actually, like during the demi. And I I don't like the engine for Attila. It feels too weird to me. Uh, 3K, Thrones of Britannia, and Attila are all using this, all use the same engine. Um, but I have heard that thrones got a lot better and if you do play thrones play as the welsh apparently it's very fun very easy that chaos punisher narrative thank god for you and the community no problem andre i cannot take credit for that though uh another gentleman on the subreddit created it and gave the whole detailed breakthrough of how to get through it and everything so i can't take oh my god did you see that all right, Caravan complete. Von Karstein Blade. So Frenzy and Regeneration. We already have Regeneration, which is not that great here. Melee attack is eight. So we'll, we'll decide how we're going to do that. But dude, did you see this? Desert Minus 50% weapon strength. I mean, what? I shared it to 146. Oh, oh, my subscribers. I was like, what? It has that many views all of a sudden? <laughs> yeah, man, like I said, I'm more than happy to kind of help spread that information. All right, I'm, I'm, as much as I hate to do this, I'm going to auto-resolve because I don't want to slog through. Oh my God, but look at all the Terracotta Sentinels. I don't really want to slog through this. The infinite might okay, good. of Shanyang. I mean, once you've done one survival battle, you've done them all, really, I feel like. In labor, they shall fight purpose. Oh, that didn't give me the cinematic. There we go. There we go. The first soul harvested. When all four have been gathered, they will combine into a single light, revealing a shadow path to the Forge of Souls. Then Urson will be within our reach. But watch this. The tome consumes the soul's energy, reaching across time, revealing secrets. Soyjack's day. <laughs> what the fuck, Stephen? It was the old ones that shaped this world. Yet the power they harness to move sun and rock could not be tamed. This was the one I wanted to show you guys earlier. The Raw only one magic I've seen. erupted from the great cataclysm, flowing forth from a realm of chaos. So came the demons. They hunted the mortals, feeding on their souls. Uh. Gala or if Fiji apples, WWW. Betrayed his kin and embraced the gods of chaos. They gifted him demonhood. And he him. became the first demon prince. Bellacor. Oh. He clawed at the world, scarred it with his armies, reveling in the bloodshed. Those who seek power will always want more, and Bellacor's lust was the greatest of all. Gods of chaos, have I not fed you souls? Have I not given you the world? Give me more power. So sick. Answer me! The four gods punished the demon prince for his arrogance. They took everything. His army his smote his, his ruin power, upon the mountain top. His four. Cursed to roam the world as a shadow amongst the shadows, powerless for eternity. Damn the gods! I still think my my favorite cinematic is that like 
God's lie! And it's him, like, just screaming at Yuri. Bellacor has spent millennia planning his revenge on the Chaos Gods. What a twisted scheme has his dark mind constructed. <laughs> cool bear. Yeah, so, uh, Rohirrim asked a cool question. Actually, this particular cinematic does raise a question for me. Are they inferring that Bellacor was a High Elf, based on the High Elves fighting in the cinematic? No, I don't think that they are. Um, we do know that Bellacor was kind of like around when, you know, when time was young. And through that, that you did it to yourself. Oh, God, it was so good. Damn the gods, me on the toilet, just grabbing the, the toilet paper dispenser, just shaking like, ha ah, fuck. <laughs> I'll never eat spice again. Um... Bellacor was We look upon the mortal lands once more, having ventured into the realm of chaos. The tome of fates thrums with the power of the twisted soul trapped in its pages. To reach the forge of souls, we require three more. We are not the only ones who seek the dying god. They employ their own methods to cross the veil into the realm of chaos. We must act with haste. Oh. Um. So we know Bellacor is the first Demon Prince, right? We know that he's kind of there when when time was young, and from that, I think that it's we can kind of make some. In Inferations, because that is not a name. Uh, we can infer some things, like he probably has a lot of relationship or a lot of conflict with lizardmen and high elves. And Bellacor, it's kind of weird in that cinematic. It's like him going like, D -d -d "Give me more," and the gods punished him. It was inferences. Thank you, Colbert. Um, it, in the lore, it talks about him becoming a demon. Or uh, becoming banished like that because he was trying to do something underhanded to to become a chaos god, basically. And the gods found out. It wasn't like him going like this, like, give me the power. Like he, they didn't in the, at least in the in the lore. Like it it says like in the in Bellacor's description in his eighth edition or whatever, um, rule set. I it's not an eighth edition. In end times or whatever the hell it is, that like he was trying to basically undercut them. And they were like, nah, -uh, motherfucker, gotcha, bitch. Hand out of the cookie jar. And that's when they did it. So it's kind of like, it's weird that they did certain things, I think, here and there. Or here for that cinematic. But I'm also kind of all for it. All right, so we need to get rid of that because it is disgusting. But we need to make a building to do so. I don't really want it. Yeah, okay. There, we'll do it right here. <laughs> it's gonna take, what, 15 turns to make it? Ugh. Four turns. I should I should have prepared for this. We'll go ahead and... Capital buildings do? Yeah, they do. Okay, cool. Ruler of the Sky Roll. Yeah, like man, this is no kind of annoying to have to make that building and then break it down. Ugh. Where is my love? Yeah, we'll do that. We'll go over there, have him replenish a little bit, and then go take out the rest of this and kind of just solidify the hinterlands here. Um, we got quite a bit of money, but we can do again. Just kind of want to get. Want to get our income back online, so we're making a lot of... Where's Bridge of Heaven? We're two yen over. Damn it, man. We need two yang. We're about to make a sentinel building. Yeah, that's one yang. Yeah, go all the way up.
Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. And just make it... We'll go for a... We'll do this. And we're good. The two yang. That's two yang. Should be good. Well, um... Well, no, no. I was going to make an alchemist, but I'll make it a Jin Po, Jin po here. Because there's no reason not to. Because we get that juicy fucking building here. The Grand Observatory. I guess we could make one in the meantime, though. Only comes out level one though, that is just hog swoggle. Will he be the god of shadow and darkness? I mean Fohammer is hundred percent right there. In older lore at least, Belacor was building his own empire of humans that worshipped him instead of the Chaos Gods. Yes. It's kind of an interesting thing how, like, the Chaos Gods work. They're almost like Peter Pan. Um, yeah, I gotta get the gemstones there at uh, Jingpo. Uh, like, the more you believe in them, the more power they get. And, like, it, it's very prevalent in 40k about that, right? Um, at the beginning of the... At the beginning of the Great Crusade, humanity is almost 100% secular. It does not believe in any way, shape, or form about any kind of divinity. or It believes it all to be the mythology of unenlightened man. And as um, uh, GRZ, you exit where you went in. So I went to uh, went I went in at a rift right there. So in 40k, the demons start to become more powerful and more prevalent. The more that space marines are exposed to demons, and they kind of start to wonder: Are these actually demons? Are these are these more than just what we're meant to believe? And through that. They get stronger and stronger and, and more and more, again, prevalent and powerful, especially as it pertains to the Emperor fighting them in the webway, which is a pretty interesting little side arc to all that all that jazz. That's what I was gonna say, Lars, is that's why the horned rat who is who is seen as like a minor chaos god, who's not necessarily seen on the same level of the four ruinous ones, the four ruinous powers. In Age of Sigmar, when Slanesh is captured by uh, Malarian, Teclas, and Tyrion. The the four ruinous powers like, well, we need a replacement because there, there's always been four. There must always be four. Kind of like kind of like the Sith, you know, where there's one, there's another. The rule of two, as it were, and that's where we get uh, the Horned Rat becoming a Chaos God until Slanesh breaks out of that prison and they're dude I think that was that was one of the cooler stuff for the second edition of Age of Sigmar is when they really started to get they started to flesh out the lore more for the elves and their relationship because uh the Lumineth Realm Lords and the Umbraneth, which is the name of the Dark Elves, they actually have a strong relationship. They are not they're not antagonistic. Um they're as antagonistic as every realm is. So they don't live in the direct kind of opposition that the High Elves and Dark Elves do in Warhammer Fantasy. They actually have a working relationship, especially because their realm is based upon the, like, I say phases of the moon because it's the easy... God, I got something in my fucking eye. There's Selenar, which is like this, um, like, Sphinx beast. And then there's like another opposite end of it and they they both worship this whole thing in together as it's kind of like a really cool deity for the lumineth and the umbraneth and it's both connected to each other and it's it's the lore too behind teclas going and freeing Tyrion by going like beyond the realm of everything is kind of crazy too like there's a lot of just awesome shit that they did with the the elf lore that i really like what up timbo how you doing man When your hash shit more chaos aligned and your three buds pick a mutated rat to be number four. Well, the big thing was with that is uh, the horn rat had more followers. There's like ascension thingy. One god can replace another based on their power level. I'm mean, essentially, yeah. What's up, GT? How you doing, man? GT buckets. Oh, 
Oh, that sneak's gonna kick in. I'm just gonna fucking become a madman. All right, so let's get What's our arm. Armor's great. I guess we get charge bonus. Since I'm a dragon, I'm gonna be charging into things. Although HP kind of sounds fun. I do want to get some sentinels, though. Actually, we'll finish off that. Power. And you power. get some levels. You get a level! And you get a level! Yes, I know. You're down here, not doing anything. Ooh, good to go with another caravan. Okay, so illusion compass are fun. We're gonna. I was. I'm actually excited to use one. So I think we go now to this location. I don't think we've done that one yet. Humble boon and Western idealist, which is actually really cool because it gives us halberdiers, handgunners, and crossbowmen. So let's go with... Hmm. <laughs> Respawn. Oh, I just spilled, I just shot like... Sneak everywhere. <laughs> so naughty. <laughs> One sec, guys. Everywhere down here. Oh. How excited is everyone for for turn Turin and I to play Diablo four like crack whores when it comes out? <laughs> What does the magic reserve skill from wizards do in game three? Is it still plus fifteen reserve? I'll show you. Um, it's it's reserve when channeling, basically. Greatest of dragon children. When's the magic power reserve change plus twenty percent when increasing? I play a ton of um. I play a lot of Diablo 2 Remastered. I love Diablo 2. You know what? I'm going to break this down here. Because Hanyu Port doesn't need this because we'll make it over at this location. Um, of course, Tom. So, tomorrow... I gotta, I gotta finish editing it today, but I'm gonna be putting out an Azazel video. But guys, you gotta listen to this. I had some fun doing... So now having already talked... Um, I did some, I had some fun using some Audacity voice modulation to do like a, an, an exchange between Sigmar and Azazel. The fray, and it... Let's see, I forgot what that was like. He thought sourly as he... Of his hammer gleaming in the let's see this world oh there it is there it is take a listen to this it definitely sounds like me doing a bad frieza impression impersonation but after echoed again 
Yes, it is you. I knew from the first. I smelt your stink on the wind the moment that fool elf freed you from the vortex. Unburgeon. For two thousand years, this world was free of you. But here you are, hiding in a dead man's skin. <laughs> so, I, like I said, I had fun with Audacity, and I did a little uh, Azazel, a uh, little uh, voice cosplay. <laughs> I'm stoked for you guys to see the whole thing. But I'll, I, every time I do that, I'm like, this is cheesy. This is going to be shit. No one's going to like this, but I'm like, oh, it's pretty fun. <laughs> Okay, that's all good. Uh, let me make this caravan, send this caravan out. This is the only place I think we haven't gone. Oh no, we've gone to the frozen landing. We haven't gone here to Norman Chowski. So let's send out... Maybe we do the Dragon Guard one. I, I want to see how they kind of fare in this situation. Got the money to do it. I'm surprised that Marienburg is still around. I mean, we definitely have like much stronger caravans, but we'll go with this guy and get him kind of spruced up a bit. Do you guys really think the Vargen Karstein blade is better than this one I've got? So, I mean, this gives me 8% weapon strength and 100 AP. Von Karstein blade does give me frenzy, so I do get 10% of both base and AP damage increase and charge bonus as well as melee attack and immune to psych. But, I mean, don't I already have immune to psych? I wonder, I don't know if he gets immune to psych when he's in a drag, as, as a dragon. Okay, he doesn't have immune to psych, but I already have regeneration, which that does give me. What other caravan items do you... I, I recommend just getting them all, to be honest. Okay, so this guy, let me get you... Get him this. Warrant of trade. Or banner, sure. I'm pulling all the ones off of the other caravan guys. Age, age. No, Eche Luna, you're thinking of Rampage. Rampage works differently than Frenzy. Frenzy is a constant buff that is present as long as you are above 50% leadership. So if you have um, Frenzy active, you get a lot of buffs to your melee, to your uh, base weapon damage, to your AP damage, to your melee attack, um, immune to psychology, meaning that stuff like fear and, and terror don't uh, affect you, stuff like that. But if you drop below 50%, you lose that buff. 50% leadership, that is. Rampage is when you lose complete control of your character. All these goodies here. That one too. Okay, cool. So he's all decked out, good to go. Uh, maybe the Empire can use a similar caravan mechanic too, like build new world colonies. Interested to see how they will integrate all these mechanics in the bigger campaign. Yeah, I am too, man. I am definitely too. I also want to see how this, how this mechanic expands into the the greater campaign, right? Like, what more can be done with it? Um, can I create caravans out to um that place that I like a lot that has elves in it? Ulf one, Ulf one. Man, rushing it. We can go ahead and demolish this building. What's up, Lucas? How you doing, dude? 
And I think we'll go ahead and make a... A growth building here. Yeah. What's our balance? Two into yen. Didn't I just make two yen buildings right here? Yes, two into yen. Okay, so we'll hold off. I'll make just a... What is this? This is stockades. Okay, that's being redone. I'll make that. Australia! <laughs> Australia, home of the elves. Power in the blood. I would like to Child get. Of the nine. He did put this army. Shugangun Lord reporting. Like right on the back to, to get to here. Genyang shows the way. Um. Lord reporting. Where do we have plenty? The path of destiny. Oh, you son of a bitch. Fate reveals a path. I hate Gaven. What are you even doing here? First, we thank our ancestors. Making this place, making this house a home. Forbidden Did I search these rooms? Got these rooms. Please make sure it's not a uh, Gaven Another place. Triumphant experiment. Okay, cool. So this is actually empty, so we'll divert her down to here. Started a sandbox prince campaign. Oh, so you shut off the, the realm you're saying? Good for you, man. I'm in a rebellion where? Ugh. Don't collect the taxes here. Still am in a rebellion. Okay, that's gonna be at uh, Jean Shi. Which is okay. That's fine. N ain't nothing gonna hurt that. Global domination. Okay. What? Oh, that's fine. Okay, pull May, Landstone Steel, Settlement BC. I know. So many people are ready for duty now. Celestial You're all good. Put you back in this. Iron Dragon. Oh, don't. No, you don't. Don't expand. Dude, if she goes down here, but where's she going? <laughs> Let me have that location, please. Find me in the forge. Yeah, I gotta go take a tower of ass hair down here. I will be obeyed. Born to rule. More car. That is fitting for the Azazel story. Right behind. You shall please the dragons. Jen Yang shows the way. And we're going to attack with Pome. And auto resolve. Two arms in Perfect. Day. perfect, perfect, perfect. Armor of silver steel, take that. Natural Up you fault. into here. Never flag, never falter. Uh, just help reduce corruption for... Well, actually... Beard envy today. Man. The beard... Student beard will always guide you, my bro. Are we really that... Beat up? Ugh. It's so minus 17. That's so annoying. Well, we'll get that under control quite quick. Okay, we're in harmony. Good. We're, we're, we're doing it, Dad! We're doing it, Evil Zans! 
Churchill in these colostomy bags how you rupture. I expect unwavering what's, uh, what's wrong with me? <laughs> <clears throat> so we're going to restructure this army. I'm thinking we'll get rid of these peasant archers entirely. I mean, they're rank 8, which is nice. Maybe I'll give them down to this guy over here. And just kind of keep keep him with like this like bullshit auxiliary force. Um, maybe even take these peasant long long spearmen and give them to him as well. Uh, but I do want to kind of recalibrate that army to be a little bit scarier, basically. Um, and let's actually a Chang. We'll go ahead and make that. Just make the best defensive building there. We're almost good to, like, we'll make income here, so that's one yang. So we need a yin somewhere else. In here. We kind of need growth in this region, so we'll make a yin growth building. Yeah, dude. She better get the hell away from that damn thing. She goes for my tower of ass hair. I'm going to be upset. Actually, I think she just sacked it. Maybe I just maybe I just blitz for it right now. She can't reach it. I allow it. What is the best defensive building? Celestial blacksmith. Uh, people were saying that they like the archer towers more than the cannon emplacements. So looking at the top end of this fire rain rocket, and this is also a fire rain rocket, this gives us two peasant long spearmen, two peasant archers, two crossbowmen, and then two celestial dragon crossbowmen, then one jade lancer. This one gives us jade warriors, peasant or two jade warriors, one long spearman, one jade warrior with halberd, one celestial dragon guard. You know what? Yeah, I definitely think actually the the sky lantern roosts are better because you just get so much more range, so much more ranged. Oh, well, congratulations, Lucas. Hey, everybody in chat, please mention, do an at Lucas B um, and say, hey, congratulations. His daughter just turned one today. Feasible, the good old 12 months old baby on, uh, on board. Absolutely evil. Absolutely, my dude. Is there a terracotta sentinel building? Hmm. Do I not have? I don't. I don't have any. I'm like, why is the growth here so slow? I don't have any growth buildings outside of this. We're going to knock uh, Taitsu's building out and make it a growth building. We'll turn it into a, a level one Yang growth building. We'll move him to all the way fucking up here. To take over some of my old there units. Uh, we'll make a little alchemist tower. I'm gonna have an alchemist tower somewhere else. I'm gonna break down. Yeah, I don't really need it here. We'll keep it there for a little bit longer. Alchemist of Shangyang. They will Stab him. Never expect me. Ugh. We just gotta get rid of all these these freeloaders, you know? Let's control like here. Okay, one more turn. We'll have that. So that'll give us that. We gotta make 12k for that. Woo! What lords are you using? We are using. So that's another thing. We gotta kind of suss out what lords we're gonna stick with. Um, I would like a Shujinin lord. Oh, rank 10? Where's she? Power in the blood. Isn't she on the map? Yeah, she is. She's right over here. She's right over here. So Child I've got this. I got Ming Fan over here, rank 10, just Girthopotamus. I've got her. We could really... What is she? She is... Yang. Hero self-defense. That's actually not that great. What's her... What are her possible replacement? I like that more. Lower level, but, I mean, by two rank. Whatever, dude, you know? 
bureaucrat control. Got all these crap dudes. It's demons of chaos. Really too crazy on any of these other care. Oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. Fervent questioner. Kind of like, I would swap with her, Juan Duan. Crafty enables poison attacks. Ooh. Uh, I haven't hired ogres yet. We definitely can. I have no problem with it. I'm not racist towards ogres. Army mechanic could be good. It seems very difficult to keep it perfectly balanced. Uh, Colbert, you know, when you play Cathay, you'll find that, like, um, you'll find that they just you don't really need to move much and the harmony mechanic works pretty well. Um, and especially if you're playing in a single player, you'll, you'll use it quite a bit. Like I think it's quite, quite good actually. So let's go with fervent questioner. That'll replace her. Uh, they'll be the same rank just about. It'll cost me a grand. We're going to replace her. And then this character, we're going to use her to grab this location. And then we're going to break her apart. We're just not going to use her anymore. I like the dragon kids a little bit better. Just because they're they're casters. But, I mean, if I look at this character, this, this magistrate, magistrate. These are pretty good abilities. Tactician, so it gives you a passive 5 reload and 5 melee defense in a 55 meter range around you. Um, but you can then make it so that you're you're getting way more melee defense and leadership, right? So um, that's pretty good. But it is a it's a it's a, a bound ability. So you know it is what it is. Grand tactician increases it like doubles this from five to ten, and melee defense from five to nine. Then you get will of the dragons, which adds leadership onto this basic ability, and you can put him in a sky lantern, and that's kind of cool. His biggest ability though here is. Is it on his abilities? Or, do I, or does it just say it in his... Okay, well, here's, here's his biggest boon. Is the, the Harmony Amplifier. I don't know... I don't think these guys have a... Oh, this is the same Harmony Amplifier? Then it's not even worth it. <laughs> like, to be totally honest, I think this character is... What is he? He's wise, which is whatever. I got him as part of a confederation. I will probably just get rid of this character. I'd rather actually get rid of this character, make more alchemists to make up for the fact, and keep this one. Yeah, I definitely. That's what I'm gonna do. What can, what cafe campaign is more fun? I personally think Xiao Ming is amazing because Xiao Ming has this ability. Xiao Ming. Uh, magic item drop chance plus one hundred percent. It's so good. Yeah, you can use him to sit in town if you want, Evil Zans. I had him sitting in town because I didn't know what to do with it. And I didn't want to break him down and lose uh, the har lose harmony. But a restructuring is in order. Okay, we're going to save this. Go attack that. Oh, shit. Kairos is right there? Dude, a sneaky fuck. Now is not. I need to get this army back online quickly so and go dumpster Kairos again. Yeah, I'm not going to attack Kairos at the Terracotta Graveyard. And he's got a full stack pretty much right there waiting for me. Um, she'll be good there for now. The Celestial Empire is besieged. Son of a bitch, look at him. No! Did this guy siege? No, he's just chilling there. Bilius Great Uncle. Little Bilius Great Uncle.
The dragon blooded. Stone ground stance, which I've actually yet to use. Uh, leadership and mass, and it's okay. The charge defense is okay. Cool, I guess. I was born to wield it. Um, I do with some of them GRZ. Uh, I didn't want to make one with these guys because I needed, I needed this location, and they had it. So. Now I can start doing some of them. It just kind of depends. I'm I'm waiting to grab everything and see what I want to do with it all. That's sweet hot income. There we go. Okay. Let's see how this goes. I we need to get with my alchemy. Hello, but Bert. For you, I will make time. The big thing is I'm trying to make sure that Gold Tooth stays happy. So I don't do anything that goes against Gold Tooth. Caravan encounter lost patrol. Okay, so we've got uh, one, two, three archers. This adds more Jade Warrior Crosswoman. I've got one, two, three, four, five ranged. I think we just add more archers to this. Yeah, Lucas, I'm kind of feeling that same way, man. Like, just just keep some buildings at tier one just to let them kind of flux back and forth, reflects back and forth between uh, yin and yang. Well, it is pretty lush, Evil Zons, but it's pretty corrupted right now. Uh, opinion here, guys. You guys, rangers or spearmen. I'll probably just go with some rangers just to get the better uh, crosswomen here to match up, and then we'll probably hopefully get a chance to add more. Because um, the long spearmen are great, but everything is anti large right now. I'd rather wait to get more jade warriors. Uh, we'll just do late like, strangers. Oh, May. Kairos? Yep. Harmony Yang. Okay. Fix this. Go. You ready in my lands? No, okay. Yeah, hundred percent, Lucas. Totally agree with you, man. The desert alchemist. Let's eat down right here. The Iron uh. I crave. I did, Then do that right there. Good. You just get the replenishment so I can next turn just jump right into the Tower of Ass Hair. Take care of that. Uh, Kairos made a bold move. It's a valiant defeat. And I can see it. We'll, we'll let that hold out for as long as we can. Maybe he'll even attack, but we can then, we can probably take advantage of this. Maybe do a little back capping. <clears throat> I hate this. I hate that I'm going to have to fight this. Okay. A valiant defeat and it won't. That's weird. Got lots of blues. Only one pink, which is actually not too bad.
Let's fight it. Let's quick save it and fight it. Let's fucking fight it. Timiantha. Uh, Zinch auto resolve is brutal, dude. I do not like. It. I am not a fan. Okay, so let's go. It's a slope all the way around, right? Yeah. There's towers and towers and towers. I not know their. I don't get to know their their shooting arc. That's kind of horseshit. I don't have anything substantial to go break a wall. It's gonna kind of be. These guys back here. Right here. Up with the rest of the army. We should go up there. You can tune there, you little guy. Start deployment. Okay. What's up, Elif? I don't even have any good targets right now. That has a huge shot, man. Damn it. Might as well just shoot into this in the meantime. We'll have them start spreading out. Warrior crossbows! Guided by ancestors! Bring in harmony! Mount that wall, yes, baby. Oof, that's not gonna feel that's not gonna feel good, I can already tell. Sent by dragons! And a cannon! Uh so by the way, Cathayan Cathayan cannons are great at knocking out towers, if you guys just saw that. Boom, boom, boom. Like, one whole volley just knocked the whole damn thing out. Fire Jesus. Um, let's go ahead and put Missile Mirror on that. That, that cannon's out of commission. Good to go there. Guys, back here. Stone and steel. Move in formation. Jade warriors. My chosen place. Aye. That ripped apart those jade warriors. Okay, where is? I bet I can't do like a, a damn area cast on that. I know it'd be broken if I could, but you know. What? Hey guys, any tips on dealing with Xiaoming as Miao Ying? Uh, Confederate? 
Oh, my best tip there. I think you do loose formation. I just can't. Oh, it's a good thing I have that piercing tower, because that would have hurt. <laughs> their leader. Oh, he's right here. There you are, you sneaky shit. Additional wall mechanics in what regard? I can't do anything with my cannons. Do anything like bring them to bear. Charge on down, do something. Probably try and get a lucky one of these going. I mean, I'll be totally honest, it's just not. Oh! Attack. It just pissed me off right now. Warriors, retreat with brawl. The 
celestial faithful! Will of the Dragon! Warriors! Order and balance! Of course! Celestial Fury! Defend the realm! Ready to rule! Damn it, too far away. I don't think I can reach those towers, can I? I see. Okay, that's right. He's still right in the same spot. He's die high. Yes, there you go. All right, there we go. Army loss is kicking in. Yeah, weapon teams can stand on walls, do their thing now. <coughs> Those, those Cathayan cannons are so good, though. They just pummel. There we go. <laughs> That's so cool. So we have got that finally. Occupy it. The province is secured. All right, we need to do the thing. Reduces corruption here. So now we have Kairos here kind of pinned. Semi pinned. Ooh, we gotta wait a little bit longer. We'll colonize Village of the Moon. We can po one more. <sighs> a little bit more there before we can do anything. Where's that army that was over? Oh, it's right there. Just abusing my lands. I kind of want to, like, I know she's ranked 12, but dude, I just do not like. Well, let's get into the let's get into this. This stuff is when this is when Laura Vian gets useful. Like Ancestral Warrior Summon is a really good one because it's gonna give you those celestial dragon warriors that, you know, you're really good top tier halberdiers. Oh I do great book, I do. I'm just waiting to get it to level five so I can do all the goods to it. It does the unspottable spell stay in effect once the unit starts firing would normally lose stock. So Scipio, it depends. Let me take a look at that spell for you. So, what you'll see on this spell is... Cloak of Jet, there we go. So, it has Stock and Unspottable. 
Unspottable means, of course, it's hidden. Stalk means it can move and remain hidden. Snipe means it can move, remain hidden, and shoot and remain hidden. Snipe is the one that you would be looking at to start fire, to enable the unit to fire and still stay hidden. As you can see, Snipe, this unit remains hidden while firing. Stalk, this unit uh, can move hidden in any terrain. Unspottable, if this unit can hide at its current location, it will not be spotted until the enemy is very close. So you can always kind of see the breakdown of it if you look at the very bottom of the tool tip for you. Yeah, Lars, I think that that'd be good. Paying gold to reset Lord Hero skills once every 20 turns. I, I don't even think you need to put a you need to put a cap on it. What what they've done in the past is in order to make the game artificially harder, they add money sinks. And a money sink would be an example of this. This is 16,000 to make this provincial capital. So, obviously, a money sink would... Uh, other money sinks in the game help to create uh, basically competition between items that you want to buy or purchase and stuff like that. So if you add in, hey, it's going to cost you... For every level, it's 100 gold to, to respec. So if you have a level 25 hero and you want to respec him, it's going to cost 2,500 gold. So I think if they did that, it would be probably the best way. I'm good, Hugh. How are you doing, dude? Yeah, that's not the real Nathan. That's just a, that's just another great book of grudges. An imposter, as it were. All right, great book. We love you, dude. Isn't there one that reduces? Yeah, that's construction cost and lumber mill. Um, harmony here is one into Yang. Yin. I'm doing that for a reason outside of... So I want to make the provincial capital here soon. Alpha Is he on Total War official Twitch? Nice, good for him. Ooh. Just another generation. <laughs> Alright, we're going to end that turn. I have to pee really bad. I'll be right back, guys. Hold on. Long may our understanding continue.
A lovely little thingy. Oh, okay. Non-aggression pact. Who are you, Thunder Guts? Where are you, more importantly? Sure. I think. Alright, Lucas B. Have a good one, dude. Thanks for jumping in. Okay, nice. So we already got some Jade Crossbowmen. Now we're going to have those Jade Warriors in here. Alright. Jean Shi. Let's do this. Earn the Emperor's boundless love. Never have our respect. Avoid the cravings. <laughs> Not much, man. We uh, just kind of making things work right now. Oh, one Harmony and Yang. That's, that's a pisser. Pleasure tide. The demonic frenzy, ready for defenses, even with rifts, attack. Well, we don't have to worry about that because they're all gone. Uh, I have encountered some. I don't know if I did it in this campaign, though. Dragon blood. All right, get the Tower of Ass hair here. Heat. Strike off the head! Duty! Perfect. And unity! Occupy that ass. Another Jade Sculptor, grown. another Swordmaster. That's good. Okay. Iron Dragon. Fill that up. We are one into Yang. We need into Yin now. I'll do that by just making this building a. Oh. Yeah, that. Boom. That fixes that. Aha! I came back here for some butt play, did you, Kairos? Well, I've got bad news for you, butt boy. Dragon blooded sugar sure sounds uh, uh, let me in. Well, I mean, you're not far off. Village of the Moon, colonize it. Province is secure. We are just securing provinces left and right, guys. Stoked on it. We already got that going into a yin building, so we should be good there. How's control doing? Nope. Control. Celestial Riverlands. This has got control, it's in a better situation now. Sugar gun. <laughs> the Imperial Road is our last province to like secure. So let's make sure we got this over here needs to go to control as well. We just need to basically finish control issues that we've got, which should be pretty easy to fix up. Fire this, and can metal. you please like get rid of your crap he still has this this drain on his weapon strength, which has been really annoying to deal with. So that's good. Let's actually grab... I, I want to go through his yellow line and make him a monster, but I want to get Arcane Conduit too. Yeah, we'll do Magical Reserve and get Arcane Conduit. A great boon to my experiments. Isn't it, though? And we'll finish off. We'll get Magical Reserve too. Get our conduit on her just to kind of make a lot of regen. Then we got to We still have to restructure this dude's army. Which, when they wield water or stone? Uh, what do you mean? Like you're talking about the jade-blooded vampires? The they would have the lore of. Uh, I need to make another growth building, so I'm going to make this and balance with this, I think. We're going to find out. It's kind of a 
it's kind of been a pain in the ass dealing with the harmony and like non-stop. But we wouldn't have to deal with it if if we weren't like we did this big confederation, right? So now we have to kind of deal with normalizing everything, and that's kind of been draining a lot of our resources. Yeah, it's just still not going to join the confederation. Okay, so we got to grab we got to grab this before she does, just to kind of keep her a little more quote unquote in check. But. She's still stupid strong. She has a really high strength. Eight. So she has to lose an army. And then we might be able to confederate Miao Ying. And then we just have just dragon... Dragon fucking crazy action going on all over this map. My brain is not working very fast today. Talking about J-Blooded Sorcerers. Where is it? Where is it? We shall get it. I see Meek from this map. Okay, I can. Good. Is this a Ogre Kingdoms? I don't think there's really any Cathayan unique locations in the Mountains of Morn. Yeah, it's all Ogre Kingdoms. As to be expected. I think it's... Yeah, the AI's always been terrible at that. Near Waterfall Middle Mountain? What did you mean? Like this? Well, I know this, but I just didn't know if there was... Or are you talking about in the Mountains of Morn? Inner Mountain? Corn. Damn, corn. All the way up there. All right. Oh, I see what you're saying. There's a unique landmark talking about J-Blooded Sorcerers. Child of the Nine. On the slopes of Celestial Mountains within the city of the Ash Mentors of the Grand Observatory, a true marvel of the Eastern world. The Great Embassy. Uh, ambassadors from nations are housed in separate compounds within the Great Embassy of Shenyang. That is where the route west begins or east ends. Is any other ones over here? We're showing desert, lands of stone. No. Real road. Okay, so of course, the Moon Empress to behold it, witness the true majesty of the ancients. Only the dragon blooded may enter the inner chamber, where there are secrets beyond led beyond. Legends tell of the true origin of yin and yang, and the Garden of the Moon Empress are an outstanding natural beauty, said to be more magnificent than the heart of Avalorn. Oof. Absolutely, Ben. Glad you're enjoying it, dude. Welcome, my bro. Welcome, my dude. Hopefully, uh, hopefully the game's not been too rough on you. Is that Wang Chang? Said. The Temple of the Jade Blooded Sorcerers. The spiritual city of Wang Chang is home to the Temple of the Jade Blood Sorcerers, the greatest practitioners of the elemental wind of life in all Grand Cathay. Well, that answers your question. Which elemental wind they wield? It's the wind of life. But when I think jade blooded, I always think of the the vampires. Chill's Child of the Nile Nine reminds me reminds me makes me think of Egypt because of the sound of Nile. <laughs> okay, um, Garrison Lord not moved. I just maybe get rid of this dude. What is he? I'm just gonna break him out, and I'll deal with the ramifications.
Okay, so I need four now into Yang. Four yin. Wind shaper. Dude, I think maybe we just replace those guys. No, no, it's actually alright. Um so we should have enough buildings to do that. We just gotta switch over to yin. This is gonna make me one yang, okay. First off, we see this. We expect to do this. You go there, you go here, and let's see if we can pincer attack all Kairos. Descended from celestial glory. Perfect. Get out of my lands, brother. And units replenished. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Corvum. Has been destroyed, and that really terrible ability now been captured. <laughs> um, all right, let me take a look here. We got some stuff we can do. These little lodestones are all right, but I'm gonna uh, fuse them together. Got the ascendant celestial blade. Which you already have one of, but why not have a second, right? We'll put it on our other sugar go 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 in lord. Silvered steel will combine twice here. Armor of Destiny, which is actually quite nice. The dragon siblings ruling the southern, central, and eastern provinces all seem like good legendary lord candidates, along with possibly the monkey king. But what do you think Shen Wu's chances are? I don't know. I don't really. I don't. I don't think or know if we'll get Shen Wu. Um, I think we would more likely to get to southern and or the monkey king first before we got to like a Shen a Shen Wu. A lot of people seem to want her though. That's a her, right? Yeah. 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 Got Jade Amulets, which are actually quite good. Luckstone and Pigeon Plucker Pendant. We'll combine these. The Maw Shard, which is alright. Power Stones. Use those to give us a fan of the Magister. We already have one of. Not actually that great. We will combine these. Get a Talisman of Preservation here. Ward save 17%. I like that. <laughs> Stick mommy dragon. I'm actually going to do that. Use the... Bit of vermilion blade enables magical flaming and weapon strength. That's pretty nifty. That's a pretty nifty little ditty. And maybe we just... Let's... We don't have good armor. That's my problem. I'm trying to... I wish we could get better. A, vol... a vorpal shard... Melee attack and weapon strength, sort of anti-heroes, which I actually really like. Our destiny. Okay, so let's kind of maybe redo some of these here by category, please. Armor first. I think we'll put the armor of destiny on him instead. It'll mitigate some of the the, the drop in armor he's going to receive, which is fine. Uh, weapon. I mean, the Von Karstein Blade, do you guys really feel like it's that much better than this? Like, getting that raw AP seems to be so nice. Unfortunately, I really, I really can't give a good estimation because I have this 50% weapon strength reduction on me right now, which is bullshit. We'll come back to that, I suppose. Talisman, we have Talisman of Endurance, which gives us ward save. We'll go with the Talisman of Preservation, which gives us more ward save. The Luminarch Lens, which is nice because it reduces... Um, enemy armies in local region get a fire damage weakness, which is great, so we can do more damage with our fire breath. Arcane item. 
guess we'll put this, this is a weapon. Um, we'll put the trickster shard on. Yeah, I kind of agree with you that on that. Like, I still feel like the obsidian blade is just so damn good. Vermilion blade's cool here, but I don't think it's that worth it on him. She can just get that. Fourteen here. We'll give her. I don't really think she. Well, she's not a terrible combatant. Talisman will give. Dawn Glaive. Passive visibility Dawn Glaive. Damn, that's pretty cool. That's a great hex. Use that. Uh, why so many lords? Uh, those are caravan lords more than anything. Talisman here, enchanted item, we don't have any of, so she will deal with it. And then you. Celestial ancestors. One will get. She got that, that one's good. Quicksilver armor. Talisman. Don't. Let's combine the giant and vermilion blade. Armor of Destiny, that was actually pretty good. Another good one there. The dragon blooded. Perfect. Yeah, I will probably definitely put that on our current one out there. So he can take I mean he's got the brass cleaver, which gives melee attack and a range around him, which is actually pretty good um <clears throat> since i'm not gonna really have him fight but because this doesn't really make him particularly strong but the regen's nice i just like i liked the buff of melee attack around him which was pretty good we'll do that for now okay oh well, that's good yes 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 i know i know she has made the village here, which is good, and then we can just kind of get rid of her. Alchemist of the House of Secrets. Actually, get rid of her too. Secrets and potions. Because she cost me three hundred, and she's not doing anything. I was using her to shut down Celestial stuff. Celestial ancestors. We'll boot her. Okay, we got the supply lines bug. You Number of armies three. That's actually correct. Nothing more. And we'll boot her because she's. Boosting income by 5%, which is cool and all, but I'd rather just make a better one, which I can definitely do. And we'll take Alchemist you. They will suffer elemental wrath. Good are you. Okay, so um, we're going to put her towards... The Jade Wind Mountain to the remove the foes. And I can break apart her army and put it into the Big Daddy. Uh, what did we break down? Okay, she's all good down here doing her thing. Okay, so we've consolidated a lot. Our, our, yeah, so we're super far into Yang now. Uh, which ain't great. But we can, we can, counter, we can counter all of this pretty easily. So, let's recruit some heroes. Four already? Metal and fire. There we go. Okay, so we're at whew, seven into Yang. So we need Yin. Alchemist of the House of Secrets. 
A lot of yin, actually. Boost that income, give us that assassinate, and do specialist. That's perfect. It's going to take four turns to make. And so we are at six yang, so we need a bunch of yin buildings. <clears throat> You know what? Now is probably a good time to do this. God, stop it. Go into this building because I like the archer towers more. That's gonna take three turns, though. We will endure. Break that down here. We'll make it into a yin building. That's a yin. That's a yin. That's breaking down. We'll make that. We'll make a yin building there. neck. Uh, Tom, it is worth staying balanced. It is not hard. What happened was I confederated all this land here, so I'm kind of having to deal with basically the, not the backlash, but the kind of result of it now. So I've got a, I've got a bunch of characters, like this character is, what is she? She is Yang. I could replace her with a yin. I, I, I probably should have kept... If I had a yin here, I would do a yin. Yeah, here, I could just do this. What is enlightened? I'll do crafty. So replace that character. Command is my birthright. I fuck me. I don't know why I did that. I'm so stupid. <laughs> it befits my high station. So that immediately now puts me in harmony. Shugan Gun Lord reporting. Because I removed a character and put a character in. So it's like, it's just a kind of a matter of dealing with some stuff every time a massive change to your thing happens. To your empire, that is. Oh. Getting a good stretch in that lat. Talon the Knight, and we'll finish off Ancestral Warriors here. A gift from my and we'll go liberate Mingju, and our lands will finally start to be like. We'll start to reach a, reach a status quo for the love of God. Commandments available here. Let's go ahead again. Just reduce corruption until that's all done with. Commandment available down here. All good. Wait a turn. See what I've done. I've probably messed it up again. Do not believe the slander about me. I am my father. I don't know if it removes honor. upkeep. That's a good question. We're going to let that go through. We'll go ahead and... Oh, did they just sack it? Oh, I thought they destroyed it. It's okay. We just go over here now. Destroy them. Natural authority. Witness their demise. The dragon-blooded. Damn, that's put us really far into Yang again. What the hell? I must have just built a, pun, a ton of a ton of Yang buildings. Yeah, man, I, I really can't wait for that combined map. It's going to be so fun. <clears throat> so 
So... Oh my god, you heading out, Skull Eye? Oh, oh, you're heading out, Hugh. Have a good one, dude. I would love if Monkey Warriors didn't have access to the Harmony Mechanic. <laughs> that would be a delight. Garrison Lord does not move. Oh, it's probably this bad boy. Let's get you back here, get rid of this damn trait, and get your army all kind of shaped up. Because you're probably about to get go ready to go back into the Realm of Chaos again. Which just sucks. Hero's not moved. Force of the Moon, where's that? Okay, that's over there. Move her. Force of the Moon. Don't I already have a hero over here? I do. Master of there's just, yeah, there's not a lot of income over here. Okay, that's fine. Warpstone Desert. Can I collect income from you? Yes, I can. Lands of Stone and Steel. Can I collect income from you? Uh, a little, it's a little dicey. God, but look at my income, man. Like, four grand. I can have so many damn armies. <clears throat> One more turn will change off of this too. Maybe over to Celestial Lake again to get that income. And that is going to be disgusting. We'll be in a great position. Our corruption is almost completely dealt with now, which is nice. Ugh, get out of here. I am warlord. Windshaper. Redouble your speed. You were playing on very hard, very hard, yes, sir. We're gonna hold off on building anything too. Just I wanna see how the how the harmony shakes out. I just kinda keep making these little things and we'll we'll figure it out in time. What is this? Okay, well that's a uh, gonna be a uh, gonna be an easy win for me, dog. Who are you? Where are you? Oh, 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 I see. May I understand? No, uh, I don't. Sure, actually, not that bad. Not too terrible. Okay, uh, maybe, maybe not. I don't want to jump into any ogre stuff just yet. I have to figure out the rest of crap. All good, Portugali. Faction destroyed. All right, so they took Non Lee, unfortunately. Meaning, she will now be pretty much okay, which sucks. Put her, it pushed her power strength up and made it much harder for me to do uh, anything with her, but it's okay. It's all right. Oh, dude, I can have so... I, I'm sitting on so much money right now. The Frozen Kingdom welcomes all its I'll take country. your money, Britain. Heed me, One Rag. Make your proposal. My sure enough. Dude, we okay. are a trading empire right now. There's not really a lot of... Actually, I can sort this by trade value. That's probably the better way to do it, right? <laughs> 
yeah, we've we've gotten all the big one. So we just get these these bros. Traveling the ivory roads not free. Pay up. We're in cahoot. Uh, they they can. You just have to you have to knock her power down. That's the big thing. More so true. taking a look now too at Snowbody. what's around me. Both takers have ignored my warning. What little shits. Okay, we're a little too into yin yet now. That's okay. We fixed that with a yang building. All hail, horned rat. It shall please. Oh, horny rats getting horny up in here. Sent by our ancestors. Thank you for the Dismantle them. Oh, I thank you very much, man. Fifty Norwegian Kronu from the Big Daddy. Their death. Spill their vile blood. Yep, auto resolve that, just not deal with these Skaven scum. We will solidify our lands here. Alright, man, have a good day. Have a good day. Have a good weekend, brother. Thanks for jumping in. Always good to see you. Offspring of dragons. Jen Yang shows the way. A thoughtful maneuver. Oh, she's just gonna get girthed out here soon. Ooh. See, I don't know how good it is to put her on a Jade Longma. Because it's it's not like I'm like ripping and gripping through town on Longmas to begin with. It so. is mine by blood right. Power in the blood. I think a war horse is kind of just fine. Gives her a lot of mobility, get around, use her spells, jump in and out. A tool worthy of a dragon. Isn't it always though? Okay, so we destroyed some things I wanted to replace, so I get that upgraded. Okay, actually, you know what? Don't upgrade that. I want to get Weijin to a tier 5 location soon. Fire and metal. Can Jin Wu upgrade? Yeah, yeah, we can do that too over there. Perfect. So. How's this location doing? Okay. It could it it could use some love. Control merchants. The rule of cool must always be present. Um but who has got Ooh, traits no. to reduce construction cost? He's got a constructor. And she have constructor? He has she has constructor. And she I think has no 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 constructor on her. But do I have any ancillaries that help out with construction? That's the big question. Whoa! Why do you not have the warrant of trade? That should be on him for sure. This thing's so good. Flying mounts are usually worth it though. Yeah, that's actually not a bad call. It's just I don't like to I don't like her to get focused down on the flying map. It's kind of scary. We're gonna switch this on over to Celestial Lake. That's gonna increase our income even further. The Celestial Blacksmith. Why is there Skaven corruption going up? There's probably there's probably an under empire somewhere around here. So that'll put me at 9,000. Get this little shit away from me. Cohesion. Basically, I want to I want to make this building because it's going to reduce the co construction cost of this big guy. And that's that's kind of crucial right now. Just get that get that down as low as possible, so we don't have to spend any money we don't need to spend. You know what I mean? I don't think there's any of that action here, though, unfortunately.
Because it's from the population. Yes, it does. I don't know if that means local populace. Uh, doesn't that mean it's from uh, uh, an under empire? I could be wrong, so that's why I'm asking. Garrison hasn't moved. Xiaoming. Oh, yeah, he's got to stay there until this fucking thing comes off, unfortunately. Praise yes. be to the Iron Wind. We're going to hold on to that money. We're up to seven grand a turn now. Find them and destroy them. Everybody in chat, I want you guys to go ahead and mention, do like an at mention, and type in Eric Sparby. That's my best friend. We went to college together, and we have got far, far too many bad stories about each other <laughs> over all the years. Um, Eric and I talked about, I, and when I say Eric and I talked about, I told Eric that... Um, I am going to do a late night Diablo 2 remastered stream with him. We'll do a drinking game out of it. And then we'll just kind of see where that takes us. <laughs> so we'll stream that probably sometime later. Anthony Richard have an income. Getting all these goodies. This land, look at this land, man. Look at look at our empire. Our our vast trade empire. Celestial ancestors. So you will see me play Diablo 2 with Eric and we will get progressively more and more drunk. I'll have questions that I've created Natural for the stream. Authority. But you guys can feel free to an ask any questions too. It'll be a fun little I will be shenanigans obeyed. there. The path of destiny. Yeah, we're definitely gonna upgrade the existing ones, Portakali. That's why I don't want to touch any of them now. I want to uh, I wanna get this upgraded to the next population surplus because that will give me the ability to make that action. I want to get the Celestial Court. But what we should do here in the meantime is... Oh man, yeah, I, I should have made this building here. I want to get Celestial Dragon Crossbowmen and everything like that. And this action allows us to make Really nice ones. <clears throat> Re recruitment cost reduction, but they come out as rank four. So that's good. Really, really good. In fact, I might actually break this down and make it when we get up to rank five. I also want. Bees. I want some jade, some terracotta sentinels. And that means okay, so next turn, two turns from now, I'll be able to do that. Uh, this is in harmony. Good. Village of the moon. No, we're not doing that. I want to make Jingpo. <clears throat> The Celestial Building. Which one's that? Is that here? Nope. Oh. This one? Nope. Yeah, we're gonna get Jaywood Mountain right now. I'm just kinda... We'll have it all complete. The lands will be united under one lord. Well, one in like a quarter, like one in like a little bit of this over here, you know? <clears throat> Our ancestors are with us. Hanyu Port. Okay, so we're pretty much all good to go. Hanyu Port, I'm surprised that can't even go up. Oh, we don't have the money? I could change that, but we'll wait a turn and then do it. Oh, the actual building gives them extra ranks, huh? Oh, it does, dude. Celestial Army, recruitment rank plus four. <laughs> the Bromir statue yet? No, what is that? Speak hands to me, dear friend. Alka 
Do I have an ancillary that reduces the cost of building things? But what I should do the, here is this. She should get a sword master. She already has a jade sculptor, and she should get. Outcast sorcerer. What? Oh, oops. You. No, you have lost. Give her some goodies. I'm gonna give her some goodies. The drunk stream tonight? No, it's not tonight. I mean, it could be. Who knows? Eric, what are you doing tonight? Burberry. Burberry Police Force. What are you doing tonight? I don't, I, you know, actually I don't really drink much anymore. We are in need. I just take pre-workout and go dancing. <laughs> That's as, conf as confusing as that sounds, trust me. I'll just spice that up a little bit there. The Iron Dragon. Hopefully one more turn I can move him again. I understand. There are important matters to consider. Look at my trade goods, too. This guy is just such a powerhouse, dude. Um, I don't want to do that. I don't want to get pulled into your aimless wars. Kind of dancing, like I mean, like dancing at the club, you know, it's a loud techno playing in your ear. You just put on the, the techno and just have a great time. There it is, finally. We have so many more to get rid of. Look at that. Live streams in total. Oof. Spurberry. Maybe we end up in a. I mean, that's a kind of a terrible, terrible pendant. <laughs> I mean, cool, yeah, I'm gonna get Wind Blast. It'll be good on the actual caravan. Domination to Yang, one to three. We are at one. Okay, we can fix that. These? Are, are you, you're talking about the... Alright, have a good one, great book. Oh, Samba. Dude, I wish I could Samba. I wish I could do anything fancy like that, to be totally honest with you. But if, alas, I am... But not that man. So we're one into Yang. Let's switch this over into... No, 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 no. I have a tier one Yang building somewhere. Oh, it's so tedious. You can imagine that. Glow sticks in both hands with a whistle, like from, um, like from White Chicks. It's like one of my favorite scenes. Yeah, that that's the one. Thank you, Etheric. Yeah, I, I just didn't want to make it. Our ancestors would lament this folly. The dragon blooded. Let us put the Skaven to sleep. Perfect. Make your ancestors proud. These lands. Are united. Plan Spittle has been dealt with. The Imperial Road is secured. And we're going to go ahead and go... Well, mm, income from trade. Okay. So this doesn't have five yet. But you know what does? This bad boy. So we were gonna we'll we'll pay the extra unfortunately here and do this but I do want to get us up to a nice rank five building um, 
we'll break this down, I think. Because I'm not going to get to rank 5 here anytime soon. We'll break this down and swap the two, basically. Because what I want to do is get Terracotta Sentinels ASAP. So we'll be able to probably rebuild a lot of this army in a different part of the land. So we're going to take Minbai. We're going to have her stampede down this direction. The whole time, though, we'll let him deal with his Chaos Realm traits right there. We'll rebuild his army. We'll rebuild Ming Fan's army, too. It doesn't actually need much rebuilding. It's 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 still a pretty new army. So honestly, I'm gonna keep it as is. We'll put her on the long mode. Just for you, bros. I was born to wield it. Uh, but since I was able to chain movement to other rifts, you could build the corruption building in a specific province and use the rifts to go there before going after souls. Uh what do you mean? The corruption building in a specific province and use the rifts to go there before going after souls. Like Oh, I see what you mean. Look, so look, like basically hunt down that specific, like, okay, rifts open up, and it's going to open up all over your land. So wherever it opens up, is whole you you shut down all the ones except for the one that is that is basically that province that is geared towards anti-corruption. You go into the realm at that province, come out of the realm at that province when you're done, and then immediately move into the building that reduces the. Uh, uh, the trait, right? So you're basically just 100% done and over with. This needs to have growth. I'm like, why is this not going up? Because there's no goddamn growth. want any Jade Lancer, so I'm actually going to break it down. Ruler of the Sky Road. So we're going to take some of the units from that one Chica's army. The Iron Dragon. I don't know what to go for for research now. <laughs> I don't have any ports. No matter. Oh, stuff like that. It'll be that'll do. If anyone has any any standout researches, let me know, and I'll I'll start moving towards them. What is an industry there building for me? Civic industry. Oh man, these produce ten percent more. Whew! Yeah, it's kind of funny, right? Like no no stuff that gives you ports. I'm like. So is that like a not yet on those ports or what? Like this is definitely going to expand this way. Like 100%, right? Like Just go for the end and just to the end for the 5% cost reduction or upkeep reduction. I mean, not wrong there. Practical dogma. Control plus four. Alchemists. The alchemists come out jacked now after that. Why is that giving me plus four to recruitment rank? Oh, it's both. Okay. Interesting.
Yeah, I think maybe we would just do that. Just go all the way through, try to get that minus five to upkeep, and then we can just we can spot choose the ones that we want after that. Grace the Dragon Empress. That's actually really nice. You put that banner on a artillery piece and it has stock. Can the maps get physically larger? In Total War II, they only added stuff to areas that were already on the map, not expanding the maps. They did in the Mortal Empires, Lars. Oh, you're right. That's really good. 20% ward. 20% ward slave is just disgusting. This is nice too. 5% physical resistance for your Dragon Guard units. For Yang armies. Ammo for Celestial Dragon um, crossbowmen. One anvil for armor for them. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, we'll kind of, we'll go to here, then start to maybe branch, but I think maybe not. Just kind of go hard in the paint, go for that 5%. Those areas that were already on the map, they didn't expand the border. Realm of Chaos map ends before the coastline, and there doesn't seem to be room to be at. I don't know. I mean, Cathay this looks exactly like it did. Stand still. This looks exactly like it does on the edge of the World's Edge Mountains in Mortal Empires. Like, look at that. It's just shrouded. I think maybe more up here, more north, if anything, but I don't know. I definitely think that there I definitely think there's room to expand. This one right here, Moon Reflecting. That's pretty nice. Upkeep for Yin armies. Upkeep for Yang armies. I like that, actually. That's... Ooh, that's, that's spicy. Meet the ball. All right. So... I think I built some shit. We're gonna wait. We want to get that one more piece of population surplus there. We're fine there. Just keep boosting income. This is just. We're gonna wait on this a little bit longer. We could do that actually. Our oh. supremacy is a short. Are you there? Yeah, he's returned to capital. Okay, so we can send out another caravan. Okay. Where do we go? We've already gone to right to these locations, but I think at this point it doesn't matter, right? Rank 3 of Hidden Stories allows for punishment in foreign regions. You ain't wrong, brother. Oh, I see what you're saying, Lars. I think we go to Marienburg again. We've already done it, but I don't know if you can get anything from going to a place multiple times. Is that you guys know?
small chance of getting something else. Well, let's just do it and see how it susses out. Oh. Alright, so... Mushiju. I don't think I can put a... character next to him. Yeah, I mean, I'd love to pop an Astromancer in there and maybe give them some levels, but... Here, we'll do, we'll do this. I'll, I'm, I'm just curious to see if it affects the upkeep. Uh, maybe not. She's not really a combat character. You will get all these goodies. My goodies. These goodies is my goodies. Or these. The warrant of trade, of course. Probably the most important one. Oh, yeah, we're back. Silk Weaver, because that's important. Get that attrition redu reduced. Corruption reduction here. Got it. Okay. Thank you, some guy. Thank you guys for that. I did not know that that was how that worked, to be totally honest. Oh my god. Jesus Christ! So, I think the only YouTuber that is a Total War YouTuber that I get notifications of it's, is Indy. Because Indy and I are friends. Pretty good friends, actually. But I just love his thumbnails and his cat, his uh, titles. He just put up a video that says, Greases is a fat piece of crap. <laughs> good lord, Indy. And you just over here triggering folk. Let's get some income going, and we'll we'll suss out again how the harmony falls, and just kind of make a little adjustments Tell here and there. How do you? Yeah, I'm, I won't attack you. Good. Throw yourselves upon my walls. Okay, so they are dealt with. Oh my god, they're still there. Scepter stability. All right. Fashion increases, that's okay. Your followers think you are fools. Just get rid of that. Move Perfect. Like that should that remove all water. their agents from the map. And I think also their spittle is destroyed. That should reduce their my any corruption over here. Yeah, there there must be something, dude, right? Local populace? Doesn't this mean that there is a uh A <clears throat> Skaven Undercity. I already have the spice market. Put that there. So we need two yin buildings. On you port, we're going to be building the, the tower because I want those sentinels because we're going to get it at the end of that. There's another bug, huh? There's, there's always another goddamn bug. <laughs> we need yin building. So let's build this for growth, because we need growth over here. That's a big problem. And we'll build this for growth. That should even us out. Stockades. And I think we're good now to finally build stuff up. I just wanted to, I wanted to balance our harmony before I went crazy with anything. And Jingpo will get that upgraded up. Okay, so yeah, it might, might just be a bug then.
Did you deal with all this chaos no corruption? Disturbing my folk. <clears throat> <clears throat> uh, Kristen LOE said check to see if there is something generating corruption. There is right here. It's a Karstein blade. But Skaven corruption, nothing should be generating it. Uh, could you just get rid of just glittering eyes crap? Do I have any more of these stupid traits? I think I've got one more. Okay, just, just this one. All right. Or does it knock it down a... Okay, so it won't knock it down a... Um, oh, it does. It knocks it down a stage. It doesn't remove the trait entirely. It knocks it down. That's why it's taking so long. That is such a Desert pain in the Alchemist. cock, dude. You know where you're going, so that'll happen. Get out of my mind. I had I had three ranks, Mr. Etheric. That that's why he's just been hanging out. I serve the shadow court. I'm gonna put her actually up here in Wei Jin, because that'll be the max amount of money we can make. She'll put her I have there. not lost my mind. You can stay. The Iron Dragon's disciple. Um. Broken Lens of Tian Li is pretty high. Slushy River Lens, super high. Force of the Moon, right here. Desert. Okay, yeah. I'll put them like up there. Like, kind of stack that up. Power in the blood. So we need six more turns on that. Any more growth buildings over here? Jadewind Mountain. About to destroy that and make it a growth building. The control, I guess we don't necessarily need. I'm going to destroy that and make it an income building. And we'll be good. Yeah, it's going to up upset our yang a little bit, but we'll, we'll figure that out in a sec. I will be obeyed. You should go fast. Ugh. Alright, new thing is your shit. I am open to assisting your ends. So what do we do, guys? Nope. I don't want your defensive alliances right now. Trait removed, thank god. How many yin? As to be expected. Whoa, heavy into yin. Did we finish a research or something? What the hell happened there? <clears throat> oh, we built the, we've knocked those buildings down and such. Okay, so we will do... Which is actually kind of perfect, because I do want a Yang building here. And I do want this Yang building here. So I kind of like that situation. We're going to continue to let this kind of saturate up. With growth, which is crucial, because then we'll be able to make this. And get really disgusting. What's my favorite Slanesh reward? Um, the one that ha that increases recruitment ranks. So you can just pop out really strong armies and like fill them up. I don't think I've ever used a sword of Slanesh. Which reminds me, bros. Oh shit. What realm should we do next? Slanesh. Orn. This is the second realm now. Or Nurgle. Go ahead and answer. It seems to be the consensus is that we're gonna do we're gonna be doing corn last. Does he rest Zhao in a city of the Skaven Undercity Finding Building that's supposed to remove the traits faster? So some guy, I don't have that building active here because I've put him in the provincial capital, which automatically gives the 50% chance to reduce the trait. Um I only had one trait and I figured, oh, I would just knock this out quickly. I didn't realize that it actually just reduces the intensity of the trait you've got. It doesn't fully remove it. So 
Zhao Ming's actually been stationed here for quite a bit of time, but it kind of fits because we're going to take some of this, um, some of her army and put it into Zhao Ming's, take some of his army, put it into hers, and restructure what he's got going on and kind of redo everything. And it, and it gives us time to build up the buildings we need to even make that happen. Like this is going to finish the Celestial Tower and we'll keep progressing stuff up. Yeah, if you do have the other building, it does stack it up to 100%. I just didn't do it. <laughs> In fact, I, maybe I just should. Did, but the problem is it takes four turns to make, and that's why I didn't make it. Um, I I did... I just said, oh, I'll put him in the capital, and that'll get rid of it. I kind of wish I had just simply built the building and, and just be done with it, you know what I mean? So let's finish off Wing Chang, actually. I want to get that, that special building here. This one. Control in adjacent provinces, which is going to be great. Growth in all provinces, and it's going to help out with um, some winds and magic. So I'm very, very down with that. You, I want you all the way up here into this province, please. Which starts right there. I seek Warpstone. So Nash seems to be the winner right now. Yeah, Slanesh is like, that's the key, right? Get in as fast as you can and jump down to the second ring as quick as you can. And it takes, it does take the AI a little time to get into it, so that'll be kind of clutch. clutch a room Mountain Dew. Northern Provinces is still really strong, man. I stand. Crocodrock, huh? Uh, Teapox Spawn? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. Onward. Maybe we just do Crocodrock, though, to kind of keep him nice and, nice and girthy. We'll probably do both. Honor to your ancestors. Very well. Honor to yours, lovely little dwarf. Little dwarf bro. Why not? Why not? And I'll take your money for it. <laughs> Ooh! Ooh! Smack it in the Carve and grind. Isigai! I suppose we should worry about or work on. So, how. How, how hard and heavy are you? I mean, you and I could be firm friends if you weren't such a dick about it. Whoa! Strength Rank 2? Wow, I didn't think of that. Who's he at war with? I'll take everything you want. War with pretty much everyone around him. Do about it. So I do get this ability here, right? Recruitment, or minus 25% upkeep for mercenary units, ogre mercenary units. And I can also increase that, I thought, with this. Yeah, upkeep reduction and recruitment cost reduction for mercenary units. I don't think, though... I don't think there's any camps nearby for me to take advantage of. On it. Unless you can make them outside of camps that I know of, but I thought you had to be near a camp. Oops. I need to go to this. Okay. And I would like to sort people by their strength rank. The gold tooth is dude. Exiles of corn is girthy, of course, as to be expected. Gold tooth, nice and strong. Legion of chaos, nice and strong. Ice court, getting better. Like the motherland. The favored daughter. Did the ice core? Uh, did it say the ice core dominated the orthodoxy? I think so. Yeah, I don't see him on the list anymore. And as soon as if she gets in a fight and loses her army, the chances of me being able to confederate her are pretty high. 
So we're going to have to keep an eye on that. What I really wish I could do, so something that Crusader Kings 3 has is the ability to pin things, right? So you can see them in the upper right corner. <clears throat> I wish I could yeah. pin her strength rank. Just pin it. That's all I want to do. That way I can just watch it. So every turn, rather than jumping into this menu to look at it, it'll tell me, oh, her strength rank is super low because she lost an army. Great. Time to jump on a confederation right now. <laughs> I mean, I could just take out this location and start pushing south, but I don't want to live in these mountains over here, man. I don't want to live in this toward hellscape. Can I even live over in these? This is all um, chaotic wastelands. I could go out and break these apart, though, which I might do. I might just sally forth into the chaos wastes and destroy everything. And force them to, like, resettle it and everything like that. Garrison Lord not gonna move for another turn. <clears throat> I think we just we we fixed that. I'm pretty sure we did. Yeah, I mean I could I could burn my way south towards Greasis and stop him from doing whatever he's doing. Long may our understanding continue. I don't want to jump into a military alliance. Maybe I should. Maybe I start... I mean, do I start working on a military alliance with some of my bordering ogres and then jump on Greasis? What do you guys think? Oh, here's the end one. <clears throat> A caravan draped in the trappings of Ind travels this road. It slows to a stop as, you, as your own approaches. Growls come from the guards whose faces remain hidden by voluminous silk scarves, their gloved hands over large scimitars resting on their hips. One infers that the caravan master should approach. He does so cautiously and sees a large cage hidden behind fine, uh, behind, behind fine curtains. The caravan master returns, his eyes gleaming, for he has seen what lies in the cage. He won't say what, only that end is known as the land land of a thousand gods for a reason. We are blessed, he stammers. Um, so it's called the land of a thousand gods because there are a bunch of anthropomorphic beast men creations, like half, like like a tiger man or stuff like that, or other things. And a lot of it kind of weighs very heavily on. Um, Indian and, and Hindu like mythology and whatnot. So all that kind of comes from in. That's why you you see here a caravan driven into it. So just growls come from the guards whose faces remain hidden by voluminous silk scarves, like implying that they're like it's not like a man growling grr. It's a, like a like a beast, which is lovely. Blessed by end. Ooh, I I think celestial dragon guard is probably the way to go here. Uh, blessed by end riches. So maximum cargo capacity 100% for caravans. For all caravans? Value cargo sold in this region plus 100% local region. Mushi, that's his, that's his trait. That's awesome. And then blessed by end blades enables frostbite attacks for all units and magical attacks for all units in the army? Good fucking god. Oh man, what do we do? Do we add Celestial Dragon Guard or add? Well, we can't add any more cargo. Because, well, I, I'm sorry. This trait does double our cargo capacity. But I don't know. I kind of feel like this is a little bit more of a permanent benefit. I don't know. Actually, that, that's a permanent benefit too. What am I even saying? I don't know what to do, guys. Yeah, I'm going to take a. Screenshots of that one. Yeah, the Dragon Guard kind of seems like the best way to go because you get magic attacks and frostbite. That is so good. The cargo is good because basically you're gonna, I'm gonna double any of the money I'm gonna make. So I'm gonna constantly get like 20, 30k from each one of his routes. So that's pretty good. Into Slanesh confirmed.
Yeah, that, I mean, that's pretty massive, man. The value and the capacity both go up by 100. So if I was getting 10K, I'm now going to get 20K, but I'm going to double my the amount of cargo that's going to go to 40K. Oof, I think maybe actually the riches is the, is the way to go. Yeah, cargo might, I think cargo is the way to go because it's like, it's such a like, it's a double increase on everything. The Celestial Dragon Guard are great, but I can get more of other units. Okay, we're going with the money. Dude, that is disgusting. Okay, so let me look at him now. So it did not increase his cargo right here. Value of cargo, so maximum cargo capacity, 100%. Commander of the great city. Cargo, plus 1,000. Okay, so he also gets... So it, it makes up for it. Okay, 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 okay. Dude, that's going to be gnarly. He's going to make me so much money. Seven turns. So his cargo is going to be 2,700, actually. And it's going to make me 9,600. So 9,600 is going to double to, uh, let's just say 20K for easy mass, math. And that's going to double to 40K. That, I think that's easily what that is. That's so glorious. Still, still your own technology, bro. Get out of here. Get, get some other friends, dick. Okay. Um, and we are one forward in yin. Okay, good. So now I can finally kind of fix that up and we'll be all balanced out. <laughs> I lie, actually. We won't be. Because we're going to make some characters in a bit. But... I just that's what's going to happen there. Village of the Moon. I'm going to hold on to this spot for a little bit. Growth increase here. <clears throat> Cargo is only going to change when you next put true Mads, but he gets this. So because we chose that, he gets that. So cargo plus one thousand. He started with seventeen hundred. So he will actually he actually has twenty seven he actually has seventeen hundred. Or uh, twenty seven hundred. Oh I guess it's not double, right? Because that would be thirty two hundred. Yeah, I agree with you, some guy. I, that's why I want to make an alliance with these lizardmen. Right. 4K to make it happen? Eh, maybe not. Take this paltry gift as a way of saying we must be friends. So they don't want me to become friends with the Thunder Guts, okay? Cheese with Thunder Guts, aversion, strategic threat. Well, I'm a bit of a strategic threat now, buddy. The boss. Carve and cry in charge. Oz. I mean, yeah, I could just do... <sighs> so who wants a military alliance? Laws and the Blood Guzzlers. Obey. They have one settlement. They're not worth it. Yes. These the Thunder Guts, though, unfortunately, are like the big, strong dudes here. 
Although the loose tooth might be the way to go. Ready to defend. I think this next turn it will be fucking finally good Roll to start rebuilding this crap. We resume at day What's his trait now? Ugh. Cannot even put him in channeling, that's so annoying. Alright. And this turn, I have to pee really quick. Be right back, guys. Acolyte of Warpstone. Busy with my alchemy, but for you, I will make time. I mean... Maybe I just do this? Look at my, look at my vast trade empire, man. Like, I love it. Loose Tooth gives me 453. I should want to protect them. Defensive alliance it is. We shall start to ally with the Ogres. Yeah, dude, absolutely. Get an Empire Captain as a part of this, this crew for 500 ducats. Alright, we're in harmony. And the trade is removed. We are good to go. Fuck. The dragon blooded. So let's go right here. Blacksmith. And then we'll do some swap arrows. You know what? Actually, I've been really wanting to rewatch is Chernobyl. I might start that tonight. That was such a good show. 
Okay, so we are going to get rid of these. And these. I think we put in... We'll take two of the crane gunners. That leaves us with five slots open. I think we put an Astromancer in here. That leaves us with four slots open. And I think we're going to even take this cannon. And we'll have two cannons and one fire rain rocket. hours in. I want to replace these with Celestial Dragon Bros, but that might be a little bit further out. We'll have to stick with the Jade Warriors for now. Um, one, two, three, four. So 16. We're going to need more crossbowmen to, to take the place of these three. But we actually will do one more crossbowman. So that'll be a, that'll be an even trade between range units here. We three crossbows. Count four. We put I think we put two sentinels in this army, and then an astromancer. And the astromancer is pretty much just to get the Wujing war compass. I think that'll do, pig. And the, the great Longmore riders are kind of, eh. Yeah, kind of. I, I, that's what I'm thinking of Pontifex. I'm kind of a little light on the archery, but if I'm looking at my character's capabilities here, I get a reduction in upkeep for melee units. So I do want to stack more melee units than range units because that's kind of the shtick of this character. But this harmony threatens our form. No, it doesn't. Ooh, not dramatic. In fact, is everyone okay? Yeah, everyone else is increasing public order. Spe I, they will get specialist heroes. We know that's going to happen, right? Like, they always kind of... hang back those special heroes, and then we get them, and it's cool, but it's, like, kind of tedious up until that point. And we can fill out her army, too. Oh, There's no reason not to. Happen. Still need archers for harmony. Uh, these these give harmony. I, I guess I'm confused. What do you mean by that? Like they should be able to spread out across enough and give harmony. But yeah, I mean they, they're. they're I guess, I guess I don't see why there's an issue with harmony being done there. Yeah, I, I think like that that'll definitely cover the line as far as the circles. I thought you were saying you need an even number. I'm like, nah. Metal <laughs> that is not the case. Alchemist ready. Uh, let me boost that income, baby. Region here. I don't think I, I think if I think if Sigval got moved to Slanesh as part of like a Chaos Warriors DLC, people would fucking riot. I think they'd be like, "Are you kidding me?" Either way, some guy I'd probably replace him with uh, Celestial Dragon Crossbowman. Get away, you asshole. Oh, right. This 
is a time of misery. I'm just trying to fill up all these buildings here. This is kind of like my wild card for whatever I want to build out as far as uh, uh, yin and yang buildings go. Celestial ancestors. Secrets. You know what I'm worried about the most of that army, to be honest with you? Some guy is anti-large. I barely have any. Sister won't confederate yet. She will, though. She'll lose a battle, and I will become strong. And I will gobble her the fuck up. Favored. Strength thing 16. The forces of Nangao cannot all abandon their posts, but will assist you where possible. Cathay's cohesion is assured. Ooh, look at that. Right at the doorstep. Good, and it can good fight him. <laughs> uh, to be totally honest, I kind of don't want to confederate her. I want her to deal with the front, and I'm just like not gonna ever deal with it. Wizard of Warpstone. Oh, there is that. There is the achievement for the gates. That's a good point. I think Ooh, they're they're fighting that. All right. Well, who are you not at war? Who who would pleaseth you to be friendeth with? Got no reason to kill you right now. Fulg. Old tooth. Blood guzzlers. Blood guzzlers just course. have the one though, don't they? Oh mine. In charge. Oh shit, did they get all beat up down here by someone? Oh no, the Thunder Guns. Or Clan Rictus probably did it, if anyone. Yeah, I, it's actually kind of perfect. She just has the Gunpowder Road, and I have literally the rest of Cathay, so... Kind of has worked to my advantage. Um, okay, so I'm good to go. We can move down here in a couple, in a handful of turns. We'll, we'll save two slots. Jingpo will be done next turn. And we're good to go. Be right back. I was going to ask my roommate something real quick. Be right back. Do not believe the slander about me. I am my father's most honorable. <laughs> yeah, right? Ogre diplomacy in three, two, one, like, son of a bitch. <laughs> I'll just do it. I'll give him military access. I am. Yeah. 
Ally begins construction of an outpost. How lovely of them. And I will actually do the same, I think. See, I love that, man. I love that they make the outpost there. And then I'm going to get Ogre Bulls as part of the garrison in that army, which is just really cool, I think. Um, I don't even think I can make, though, anything for them. I think all their stuff's already, already outposted out. Give me one second, guys. I'm going to order some food. Coming up here to the end of the stream here today. How many, what, uh, what's, our, what's our total viewership at? We're at 70 viewers. Nice small little stream here, a little fun stream. We've got 70 likes too, so I really can't even say, hey, make sure you like the stream because you bros are crushing it today. And a nice refreshing, refreshing sandwich. Is ability to recruit allied troops worth being drawn into their wars? I think it depends on which which character you're playing at. I don't really mind certain ones there. Or certain ones. Traits still there? Which trait? Oh, Chaos Wonder Zhao is gone. Had a nice 69 viewers. Hot sub. He wanted the Chipotle cheesesteak, I think. One sec. Traders. They're all over the place these days. You can't even trust them. Okay, I will not be doing a pickup. Dream, do Dream Ally, um, Phoenix Guard. Phoenix Guard would just be stupid good, I think. Tomb Scorpion would be a lot of fun. I, I think depending on the situation, like, for, I'm saying for Cathay, I, I'd love to have Phoenix Guard because they'd be really strong. I guess Celestial Dragon, um, Guard are kind of, like, at least somewhat comparable. But... I just love Phoenix Guard. What would be another good, uh, another good ally unit? Adding just a straight up dragon too would be kind of fun. I think just multiple dragons in a Cathayan force would be really cool. All right, guys. One second.
the clock catapults as a demon prince. That's actually, you see, that's the big thing is like, um, there's like, there's, there's a lot of like specific things I'd want for specific armies that probably would really help out. Right. Like having a nice front line, cool, badass, um, unit if I'm playing against I'm playing a Zinch or something like that. Um, something that just kind of gives me a little bit more for that army. Like the Demon Prince, it'd be cool just to even just try to get Warriors of Chaos added into his army. Just to give them, again, this nice, like, lair. Okay, so he's all good. Jingpo, make this little guy. Oh, that. This is going to affect things, unfortunately, but we're going to do it. So we're going to make a building to counteract that yin. We'll do it right here. And we'll just keep swapping this back and forth, I think. Oh. Quella di da. The one yin. Can't make this here, fortunately. I guess I'll do that. I guess I'll do this. I guess I'll, I'll create like Shang Wu as my lo location to take off any traits. Okay, so we're at turn 57. What do we do? I will be obeyed. Did you have the Jade Sculptor? Good. Erect a shrine to our ancestors. Do we go south here and start working with the ogres? Do I go west and destroy the red wastes and just kind of remove everything? What do you guys think is the way to go? And I think we're coming out to around the point where we're going to... Getting close to when we'll end the stream, but I kind of want to get the opinion of the bros. Lord of the Jade Swarm. Service is every Cathayan's duty. This guy's coming out rank eight. Like shit, dude. Yeah, the ogres do seem pretty passive. I'm like, eh. That's why I don't really necessarily want to go down there and go fisticuffs with them. I will that. not tolerate sloth. So we'll do this. To rule. Shugangan Lord reporting. To serve me is a privilege. Ruler of the Sky Road. Yeah, you know what I might do? I expect loyalty, Until we get the Terracotta Sentinels. And harmony. I kind of want to just fill up with more shit here, you know? I expect unwavering loyalty. Like, do that. Just have a lot of anti large, because we're going to go into. Looks like you guys want me to go to the Realm of Corn next? I think you guys want me to go to the Slanesh, I thought. Dude, Oliver, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get these guys to be my bros. Like right now, my, my gift given to them is not... starting to wear off. But I want to get them to make... to, to uh, get their big... Get their big units in mind. Ooh, look at that. Fire Mountain. Ling Fawn can start moving down over here. We must be tireless. Metal and fire. Yeah, so I, I think we're gonna. I think we'll save corn for the very end. Fire. 
I am open to assisting your ends, so long as they do not obstruct mine. The Blood Guzzlers, though, these are the ones that if I do this defensive alliance with, it'll make my lizard bros not happy. I'll hold off on it. Hold off on it. Ooh, I will not be giving him... Oh, the blood guzzlers, huh? We'll fight this. I'm gonna destroy a unit of jade warriors. So let's do a little set. Oh, of course, I'm on a fucking hill. Thoughts in harmony. Move everything. It sucks, man. I always, you always get placed like back here. It's like, cool. Where's your line of sight? You don't get line of sight. All oh, this is rough. I have to basically deploy them, move forward quickly. Faithful. Thoughts in harmony. Archers. Shenyang's faithful. Praise the dragons. Archers. Never conquered. No mind sharper. Well, I can't shoot. Okay. Fight for the uh... For you are the guardians of order, the defenders of harmony. Didn't kind of scared me. The dragons chose. Oh, actually, shooting. Okay. <laughs> Did not think that that would have a range. Crane gunners. Emperor expects rocket battery. Will of the dragons. Wind and fire. Move in formation. Shen Yang's faithful! Wind and fire! Guided by ancestors! Set by oh! Knew that would happen. I was like, when are they gonna hit my own units? Shen Yang's faithful! Stone and steel! Okay, it did not tell you to do that. Move in formation! Peasant spearmen! It pleases the dragons. The personification of law! Spears, fight as one. Guided by ancestors. Oh, I forgot about the Empire Captain over here. Yeah, I was not paying attention enough to the rockets. I was like, man, I know these are going to hit my own units. <laughs> Stone and steel! Stone and steel! Marching as one! Order and balance! Sun Yang's faithful! Repositioning! Archers! Defenders of Cafe! Take those arrows in the butt in the gut. <sighs> yeah, 
<laughs> Just those, the fire rain rocket has killed more of my own troops than it has the enemy. Because I find that a lot of these maps are heavily skewed. And you always seem to start on the location that you're just going to, like, take the most damage. And I'm like, what the fuck, man? Need a little punishment, though. Dude, I am getting so much money. <laughs> Ally begins construction of an outpost. Oh, it's okay. The mightiest fortress, we have done it. The catalytic... Catalytic kiln... Passability, weakness to fire damage. That could be so good. Dragon Helm, Vorpal Shard. The uh -oh. God bears roar is it comes. Trap. Its power will open more rifts. Other kingdoms destroyed, as to be expected. You stand before the supreme major. Damn, Shame 15. I mean, that, that confederation just not happening. It's not happening, man. You know, it. Like, I wish it's like, okay, maybe you just get Wei Jin and you get the final building there and you can force confederation. Cool. Done. Over with. Like, let it be so. But that doesn't seem to be the case. We need to wait seven turns to get up to rank five here. And I suppose I could just make this here and just to kind of get them, but let's just do it. Oh, that's built. Nice. Build this. Or that is building. Build that. Harmony still. Good. Good. Anakin. Good. Kill him. That there. Uh, we're good to progress this up. Defensive buildings pretty much everywhere. I mean, I'm just trying to make sure that we're all good for invasions. Start getting, like, defensive buildings made. Made all that way cheaper. I'm gonna make growth building here. That'll that'll push me out of balance. Don't make the growth building. <laughs> Don't make the growth building. Alright guys, that is a perfect time to end the stream here for today, turn 58. Um, I don't think we'll be streaming tomorrow, but we will be streaming on Tuesday. And then I won't stream again probably for some time because I'm going to be doing a move next week. So it'll be a... Maybe I'll stream again on Wednesday too and just try to make, as, make next week as easy on me as possible content wise. So I will figure that out. But tomorrow we're going to have a video coming out on Azazel. I do have to edit that here today. But be on the lookout tomorrow for that. It'll be a fun little lore speculation video. And it'll be a little bit longer than our normal lore videos. We'll go into a little bit more of the lore of the uh, Legend series of Sigmar Heldenhammer. And a fun little kind of uh, uh, read-through of some lore from that. So we will have some fun there. Nonetheless, um, when it comes to some thank yous, though, we have some to give out. Foolish Mystic Wonder, always catching the tail end of the stream. Have a good move. Absolutely, man. Thank you very much for watching, though. Even though it was just the end. Um, let's give some thanks out. We did get some good donations here today, so I do want to make sure those are recognized. Uh, Eche Luna, open us up, opening us up with a $2 donation. Buhondo with a $5 donation. Stella Sean with a $20 donation, trying to beat that addiction to uh, smoking. And he's saying to help him to distract him. And Skull Eye Palatini with a 50 Norwegian Chrono donation. So thank you, gentlemen, all very, very much. <clears throat> 
Um, I do want to start doing a streams again of Crusader Kings 3 and of Bannerlord. Now that we've kind of finished the marketing wrap up here for uh, Warhammer 3, I think we can start jumping into some other content. Content. Um, I will be also covering Songs of, Con of Conquest. So if you guys like Heroes of Might and Magic, you're going to love Songs of Conquest. It's going to be coming out hopefully in the next couple months. We'll get some sort of early access from them, whatever they decide to do. But when that does come out, I'm going to go hard in the paint on it. And Diablo 4. Have a good one, Noir. Noor. 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 Yeah, definitely want to start jumping back into them. And I'll, I'll, I'm probably going to put up a, a, a poll for Crusader Kings 3. Like, do we do like a re reformation of the Carolingian Empire? Do we do an Outremer Empire where we're in um, Lebanon? Not Lebanon, in, in um, the Levant is what I meant to say. And then another idea was create the Kingdom of Lebanon. Thank you very much, Eche. Thank you again for the donation. We will be back here next week. And then another time during next week. I'm not really sure. But I do want to try to get to the end of this one pretty quickly. Um, if I have time, I will stream tomorrow. We're going to kind of get an idea of what's going on. I might just kind of actually have a rest day. We'll, we'll see. But guys, thank you so much for watching here today. Have a good one. Wash your hands. Stay safe out there. Take care. And we'll see you tomorrow, maybe Tuesday. Who knows what I'm going to do anymore? I'm completely on my own ass. But again, have a good one.